In this video, we're gonna go through four tips for living in Spain and how to enjoy an easy life as an expat. Tip number one is to learn Spanish. Yes, it's true that over 10% of the Spanish population is made up of foreigners. And yes, that number never ceases to grow. And yes, it's also true that so many Spanish people know how to speak English. You're gonna find loads of expat communities and foreigners who are in your same situation with whom you'll be able to speak English. Nevertheless, learning to speak Spanish can present enormous benefits. It will make your living in the country much easier. I asked a group of over 16,000 Spaniards what they find the most annoying thing is when it comes to expats living in Spain, and the overwhelming majority of answers fell to those not bothering to learn the language, even if they live here. It's worth saying that there was a high number of answers that praised expats for positively contributing to society, but just making the effort to speak a little will go a really long way. One thing I find useful is if I'm not feeling confident about my Spanish in a certain situation is to apologize up front. I'll start with, lo siento por mi español. And instantly the other person is appreciative that I'm trying and usually they're willing to help me understand. Finally, it's obvious that if you really want to experience, understand and integrate with the Spanish culture, knowing the language is a must. It will allow you to make Spanish friends and talk to local people, which makes the whole experience complete. Tip number two is to understand Spanish timings. If you've visited or even lived in any other EU country, forget about their timing. Spain works completely differently. Firstly, it's worth noting that Spain is actually on the wrong time zone. Spain has been in geographically the wrong time zone since World War II. Originally, Spain was on GMT, the same as London, and the same as Portugal. But in 1942, Spanish dictator General Francisco Franco moved Spain's clock forward in line with Nazi Germany, which had provided Franco vital support during the Spanish Civil War. The country never changed back the clocks, resulting in it being technically in the wrong time zone for over 70 years. That means stores and shopping malls are open up until late, 9 p.m. usually. People have lunch at 2 p.m. and dinner at between 9 and 10. Mid-morning snacks are a must, and some even will get a quick nap or siesta after lunch, although that isn't everywhere. Now, if you go out to have lunch or dinner, take it easy. Something that the Spanish nationals enjoy is sitting on their tables after finishing their meals and spending great quality time together talking. It's like a ritual that makes lunchtime last forever. And one common issue we found when we first started eating out is that if you're looking to eat out early, say between 5 and 7 p.m., so you can put your baby down for 8 o'clock, then 95% of the places open won't serve food. The next big tip is to travel as much as you can. One of the best things about Spain is its diverse landscape. Even though the whole country is amazing, what you find in the north is completely different to what you're gonna find in the south. There are 17 autonomous regions in total, and each region has its own peculiarities. Cities that feel completely different. They have unique food and a particular culture. The greatest advantage of this is that you can spend time exploring new places and not worry about the problems with traveling across borders that came with the pandemic of 2020. Our advice is to embark on short weekend trips and try to cover the whole territory. If you're living in Malaga, for example, discover Tarifa and Gibraltar. Okay, technically you will be crossing borders if you go to Jib, but we'll cover that in a different video. Travel to Sevilla or Valencia or Cadiz during uh, different times and you'll find a whole different Spain. This next tip everybody hates and it's about paperwork. Understand that Spanish bureaucracy is slow. Embracing a calmed and relaxed state of mind is gonna be essential when doing any kind of paperwork. Be aware that you may have to wait in line for a long time and that it's highly likely that you're missing documents. In fact, 
It's so much of a thing that there is a short film that was created over 10 years ago and it still rings true today. It's genius. I'll link it in the description. Quería darme de alta en autónomas. Ventanilla de información, modelo TA1. Lo cumplimenta en esa mesa y después... Lo he traído relleno. No ha rellenado esa casilla. Voy a las mesas de la entrada y... Traigo dos copias, escritas y revisadas. Le falta el impreso de Hacienda. Y la fotocopia. Muy bien, Rubita. Tú lo has querido. Fotocopia del DNI. Número de cuenta. Fotocopia de la tarjeta de la Seguridad Social. Fotocopia de los impresos de Hacienda. The reason it's so bad is apparently down to Franco, who prevented the country from technologically progressing, as it would mean the need for less jobs. But Nevertheless, it hasn't changed since. If you can, try and go with someone local or even with a lawyer. They will help you enjoy an easier time and take a book with you or a Kindle to keep you from getting frustrated about the seamlessly endless waits. So that's all I have for you this week. Don't forget, there are some downsides to living in Spain, so make sure you check out the Hate Spain video too. Catch you next time. And thank you for subscribing.